Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. Today we're going to be talking about something that seems to pester quite a lot of Final Cut Pro users, and that is the use of videos in drop zones. Now it isn't exactly the most user-friendly system, but if we understand what's going on with them, it's actually not too hard, and we can get our videos to play at exactly the point that we want them to. So let's go into titles, and I'm going to start off by using a uh, one of these drop zones from the phone uh, promo kit, and I'll link that in the description if you're interested. Um, we're going to bring in one where, where you can see the phone on screen the full time. And now what we're going to use is just this clip here. And I'm just going to bring this on screen so you can first see, because it's got audio, and that's how we're going to test if it is in sync or not. So if we go here... All right, so we can actually see the end uh, frame is the zoom thing and we can see how the audio is synced up with the cartoon. So we can delete that now. And uh, what I'm gonna actually do is just drop that below so we can actually hear the audio in the background like this. Okay, cool. So now if we select the, uh, the title and we select the drop zone and we select the footage and apply the clip, let's see what happens. All right, so straight away what we can notice is that the audio is off sync, which means that the video isn't starting where we want it to. And to be honest, this one's quite simple. All you have to do is to just let's uh, press X on that drop zone, select the drop zone, and then select the clip right at the start. If, if you can, off to the left, as you can see as I'm clicking there now. Now when I apply that clip, you'll see that it is completely in sync. All right, so that is perfect. But now the problem comes where you've got a Final Cut Pro title and there's a whole lot of drop zones over a space of time. And that's the case in this fast type promo title that we have here. So as you can see, if we go into the title settings, there's a whole lot of different drop zones that appear throughout the 30 seconds that it's on screen for. So if I just fit it out there. So as we go down in the project, you can see there's a whole lot of drop zones that appear at different times throughout the project. I think all in all, there's about 17 drop zones. But what we're gonna be looking at is drop zone 16, which appears, if I can find it down here. So it appears around about the 20 second mark. So what I'm gonna do is to get that media in here, so if I select it, and if I go down to drop zone 16, and then I select the media, and let's just do what we did at the beginning. We have it start at the start. Now I just have to find where it's on screen. So what you gotta notice is it's stuck at that last frame zoom point. Now the reason for that is because the drop zone is assuming that it's starting off at naught seconds over here. So once the clip reaches this point right here, it's at the end. So it's just going to stay on that last frame all the way up until it gets to that point over here. So what we need to do is actually make use of a compound clip. So let's find out where that drop zone actually comes on screen. Let's just go forward a little bit. So here's the first frame. So what you can do is actually just bring it here. And if you do want to have this audio in here, by the way, you should actually detach the audio. So now you can actually make a compound clip uh, without the audio because of course the audio doesn't work with drop zones. Now what I like to do is just go into titles and then just go into elements and then just add any of these things because they're not going to be on screen in any case. All they're going to be doing is just taking time in the compound clip. All right, so now that we've got that, we can just select both of them, create new compound clip, just call it compound clip. And now we can actually go into the drop zone, go down to title 16. I'll hit that little X over there to get rid of that one. And now I can actually select my drop zone from here, compound clip. So apply that clip. And of course, what you can do is just select and hit V so that you disable that one. So as you can see, it's very brief, but it is actually in sync now. So what we might wanna do is actually just use a longer clip and there might be like a specific period of time that we want it to be on screen for. So what I'm gonna do is just delete that audio so you don't have to hear that. And also just delete this compound clip because we don't need that. And what I mean by that is, that, so this is a video with some audio on it. So it's got music, there's a whole lot of different sections. So let's say that we wanted to get this particular part over here. So what I'm gonna do is to just see when this is on screen for. So it's over here. So let's actually move this along and I'm going to have it start on that point there. 
And let me just hit V to just disable it for a second, just to see when it comes off screen and it's right over there. So it's on screen and then it's off screen. So let's see what we've got. If we hit V, we can actually see what's happening. And now maybe this isn't the exact section that you want, but that's cool. All you have to do is hold uh, hit T and now you can actually drag it across and this is using the trim tool. So now you can see we've moved it around 20 seconds or let's do it like, let's see what, uh, let's see what this part over here is, uh, seven seconds on. So if we hit play. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is just detach the audio like we did before and the audio is there below it. We can go into the titles, drag in the speech bubble, and then drag that across until it gets to start with the footage. So now I'm gonna hit A so I can select both of them, create a new compound clip. I'll just call this one two just to save us some time. And I'll hit V to just set, disable that. Then I'll go into the title, hit the X to get rid of the previous drop zone. drop zone 16 and then find my new compound clip which is called number two so let's see how that works and that is completely in sync so that's how you do it guys you have to create compound clips and that is completely in sync so as you see guys for the so as you can see guys for the short and that is completely in sync if you have any questions further for this, just shoot me a comment below and I'll do my best to answer as promptly as possible. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye.